Welcome back to the best After Effects tutorial channel on YouTube. Today we will look at these amazing looking 8-bit motion graphic animations and actually these are super simple. We basically just need a few shape layers and two effects and that's it. So let's try to get it done in under three minutes. So let's start by making a new composition. Just hit OK and make it a few seconds for this example. Then of course we can add a background, just some layer. You can give it a color if you want. And then let's start with adding some shapes. So let's make a new shape layer, open it up, go to add, and let's add an ellipse path, for example, that now we can animate. So let's go to the beginning of our animation, bring the size down to zero, put in the keyframe thing, just click it, and then go forward like one and a half seconds and just scale this up by a ton or however you like it. Now we can see that we actually don't see anything if we click somewhere else because this shape doesn't have like any fill or any stroke. So let's go to add and add a stroke real quick. And here you can play with the whiteness. Just give it something that you prefer. Another thing is that this animation looks uh, really slow and really boring. So let's uh, give it some, yeah, some action. So we can click on the size and open up the graph editor with this little button here. Then we can click on the size again and select this easy ease button. Here we can now select the first point of this animation and just bring this up. So we will have a, a fast beginning and then a slowdown at the end, just like this. Maybe that's a bit too radical, but yeah, just like that. That's amazing. Now as well, we want this animation to end or to vanish at some point. So we can also animate the stroke. Here we can go to the stroke, to the beginning, and just put in a keyframe at the size that you like, or maybe make it a bit bigger, and then just go right to the end of this animation and bring this down to zero. Now, for this, we can either leave it like that, or if we want it to stay a bit thicker until the end, we can also play with these with these uh, yeah, keyframes. So we can select it, and again, press the EZ's button, and maybe just make it vanish at the end more quickly. So here it's reverse, it will start slowly and then fall down real quick, but that's up to you. And now we have this super smooth and amazing animation. So now what's missing, obviously, it's the uh, pixel effect. And as I said, two effects, it's really simple. So first thing is the mosaic effect, which you can just apply directly. And here you can play with the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks to give it some nice yeah, pixel effect. I'll just go by 50 and 50 make sure it's the same value, but that's completely up to you. If you like it more pixelated, go for lower value. If you like it yeah, less pixelated, yeah, the reverse thing. Now we also really have to check this sharp colors button because otherwise, as you can see, we'll have a lot of transparent blocks and I think that doesn't look really cool. So make sure to hit the sharp colors and now we can see we have this actually really cool looking 8-bit thing. The only thing that maybe differs from the example or like from Thing that you have in your head, the ideal animation, is that this is 8-bit in terms of like, or like 8-bit in terms of, uh, of quality, but like the, the FPS are still really smooth and that just doesn't look right. So we can also add a posterized time effect, just add it. And here we can turn on the frame rate, so we can make it like more a bit laggy, but that actually fits in that case. So I just like to go with something like 12 and now we have this. Yeah, it just looks way more laggy and more more 8 bit, not so smooth. That's exactly what we want. And that's it already for the animation. Of course, in this case, you could play with other shapes. Like in the example, you could add a rectangle instead of the circle and just rotate it by 45 degrees. Or the one in the middle that I made is super simple. I just added a puck and load effect and increased the amount. So you can get like this nice cross or whatever. But that's now completely up to you. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time.